Okay, our next tool is our magic wand tool. Um, and I used the magic wand tool probably the most um, when I first learned Photoshop because when I first learned Photoshop there was not the quick selection tool. So I'm going to teach it to you first um, because it is uh, still a good tool and I find that it's very um, good because you have a lot of control over it because you are managing the parameters. So um, the first thing I want you to notice is the tolerance at the top. Basically um, the idea is that if you have a low number like 20, you're basically selecting 20 shades lighter and darker of the single pixel that you select. So I'm going to click once. So that's saying from the mo with a spot that I picked that's 20 shades darker and 20 shades lighter and everything in it. If I want to go and add to that selection, if I hold shift, you'll notice that I get a little plus sign next to my cursor and I click, keep clicking and keep adding. I'm adding every time 20 uh, shades lighter and darker from the pixel I pick and if I just keep clicking, 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 clicking I can slowly get my whole orange. So I'm going to just deselect that by hitting command D just so you can see. I'm going to go and change my tolerance this time to 60. I'm going to go to basically the same spot and click once and you can see how much more this time because my tolerance is much greater um, of the shades I'm getting. So lighter and darker I got many more shades, almost the whole orange in one go. I'm again going to hold shift to add to my selection, continue clicking a few times and I've got almost my whole orange which is amazing. Okay, so one of the reasons, I'm just going to deselect here, one of the reasons that we do a lot of photography on a white background is because it's actually much easier to cut things out. So instead of selecting the object that you want, sometimes it is easier to select the object that you don't want. So in this case I don't want the white. If I hit the white once, you'll see that I actually get a perfect selection. If I then go up to the main menu and go select inverse, it's going to flip my selection back to the orange. I now have my orange that I can go make a new composition and quickly drag it out of my original image. There you go.